episode number eight. Steve, Air, McNair, Randy, Moss, Kevin, Byard, and many more today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another Tennessee Titans theme team episode, episode number eight of Madden 23. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check this team out. Check them out quite quick, and then we'll hop into a gameplay uh, and see how this team plays. Now, we do have a few new players uh, again, we did do the uh, episode 7 maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. So we have had some upgrades in the past couple of weeks. Uh, and hopefully we continue to get upgrades for the rest of the year. Um, offensively, we'll start We'll start up front. We had a couple upgrades here with Ben Jones, which is a very, very... We needed this upgrade quite badly because of our center situation. We didn't really have a good center, so we were having to rock with... Uh, Roger Saffold out of position and um, he really wasn't cutting it for us he's only uh, a 93 at left guard a 91 at center so with this Ben Jones uh, upgrade uh, it was quite needed um, and he's a 98 overall here Ho I was hoping he'd get up to 99 but 98 I guess we'll take it um, you know maybe we get like a Kevin Maway Kevin Maway um, or Kevin Maway I can't I'm not sure how you pronounce his name um that's really the only center I can think of. Sometimes they bring in Bruce Matthews in, uh, you know, as a center. Uh, I think last year he was a center. Um, but he's a left guard this year, which is fine. Um, obviously, we got John Madden at left tackle. I'm just trying to think of any other centers there could be in the past, uh, you know, that could come out in Team Diamonds. Um, really, really couldn't tell you any except for Kevin Mawai, uh or Mawai, Mawe, Mawai, whatever his name is. Uh, but other than him, couldn't really tell you anyone else. Um, so hopefully he gets like a UL. You know, that's really our only option at this point for him. Uh, but I don't even think he was in the game last year. I know he was in Madden 21. He was in Madden 20. Um, so hopefully he'll make a return and help us out of this center spot. But here's Ben Jones holding it down for now. Uh, again, you can rock this guy for the for the rest of the year. But for, for me, I really, really want a gold 99 or, or just a, a regular 99 here just so we can see. Uh, are all a whole 99 overall uh, Tennessee Titans team team. So backing out there, there was Ben Jones. You saw his stats right there. Uh, an another nice, nice upgrade here. Again, this is another situation we're, we're kind of in. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we did get two 99 overall right tackles, but we're obviously going to go with NPF here uh, because he's a much better tackle and he gets some better abilities. He gets all day and secure protector. All day is really, really nice when you pair it with secure protector. And his other zero AP abilities are here, edge protector, screen protector, and post up. I mean, post up, I think, is the only other good one. Uh, but to pair up with a... All, for, for all day to get paired up with secure protector for zero, I'll take that all day. Uh, so NPF is right here with 99 strength, 93 awareness. You see all the other stats. 99 across the board except for run block. Uh, I mean, what else you want out of your right tackle? In-game right tackle, he'll be on your team for the rest of the year. Um other right tackles that i could possibly think of you know really we don't even need any but maybe a john runyon from the eagles not john runyon from the packers who came out today but his dad uh who played for the eagles way back when he actually played for the titans a little bit too so uh that is that we did get a johnu smith with the easter promo um johnu i feel like always gets these later in the year 96s i feel like he got one last year uh it might have been the easter promo last year too i can't think i know he had a well can't remember but it might have been madden 21 where he had a 96 easter card uh, but nonetheless here he is 96 overall came up to a 98 overall he's got 99 speed um so yeah 99 speed at your tight end spot with the uh the the easter um strat item plus the 50 out of 50 titans uh, team kims gives him plus two speed so that's four speed right there and you guys see everything else i mean 99 speed 99 excel um really really nice card you know definitely you could use him for the rest of the year because he gets 99 speed can't get any better than that uh and you know you can slide delaney walker out here to wide receiver if you wanted or rob gronkowski to wide receiver 
Uh, but that does remind me, I need to put that uh, that short end elite back on Gronk. I forgot to because I think I switched him out with John or something. But here we go. All right, offensively, that's it up front. Then we have our, we'll save Steve for the last, uh, we'll show him last. Randy Moss here, guys. Randy Moss, I mean, it's Randy Moss. Um, dabbled with the Titans for about seven games or so. But hey, doesn't matter because he gets Titans team Kim. 99 speed, 99 jumping, now a bunch of 99 stats right there, except for short route running and medium route running. Um, you can actually put route tree on them and get them all up to 99s there. Um, after the catch, really nice dude. 98 break tackle, 98 ball carry vision, 99 change of direction, 91 stiff arm, 95 spin move, 98 juke move. Just a really, really nice card. It's Randy Moss, best wide receiver in the game right now, in my opinion. Um, and you're going to see why in this video. Steve McNair, I think that's it for uh, everything else offensively before we get to Steve McNair. But here's your here's your debate you want to go ahead and, and, you know, you know you can go with the UL quarterback, um, which boosts all Ultimate Legend quarterbacks, that stuff right there. So the plus two agility, plus one speed, plus one excel, plus one awareness, and the rest of those you get with this Kim versus you could go ahead and equip this chemistry, the Tennessee Titan Kim, to get plus two strength plus two jumping, plus two agility, plus two acceleration, plus two speed. So it's really up to you on what you want. You want that extra speed on Steve McNair? Do you really think it will matter considering he's your quarterback? Does the strength really matter that much? Does the jumping matter that much? Agility maybe a little bit more, excel maybe a little bit more, but at the end of the day, you still get your plus one speed, plus one excel, and again, with that Easter strat item, you're getting plus three total to both of those stats. You're getting your plus two agility, so no drop off there. You're getting a plus one jumping, which really didn't matter anyway, versus the plus two, plus one. Awareness, that'll help him out a little bit more, I guess. Change of direction will help him out. Stiff arm will be, uh, you know, he'll have an extra stiff arm. Uh, throw on the run, plus two. Play action, plus one. Break tackle, plus two. Throw under pressure, plus one. So, I mean, I think it's much, much better to have this UL chemistry on him. And just because he doesn't have Titans Kim, that doesn't mean, you know, it's a cheat because he's he's Steve McNair. I'm in my opinion, he's the best Tennessee Titan of all time. So, you know, it just depends on what stats you want boosted there. Uh, and again, it really doesn't hurt your team because currently we are sitting at 53 out of 50 without his Kims and 55 out of 50 with his Kims. And with Team Diamonds coming tomorrow, I am recording this on Tuesday. I think I'm going to schedule it for Wednesday. Uh, but they actually are being revealed on Wednesday. So today they should have already been revealed. Uh, and then they'll come out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, and, and those will have times two chemistries. They, they usually have times two chemistries. So their team specific, um, their, their team that they come out on. Uh, so, you know, obviously the, you get their all 32 teams get one each team, each player for each team will get a, um, a times two cam for their specific team um so that is that y'all let me know who y'all want i mean i'm thinking Cortland finnegan will be a really really nice card to have um just because we need some help at cornerback uh speaking of quarterback let's just go ahead and go to the defense here but while we uh, consider uh consider our team diamond possibilities like i was saying Cortland finnegan you got keith bullock you could get a javon curse even though i'd like him to get an ultimate legend set piece so we could get like a you know, we could double down on him, get his left in or right in card, and his, you know, out of position card could be like an offensive player, could be like a wide receiver, or, or I don't know, could be an offensive line card. It doesn't matter. Anything will help if we get like a set UL, uh, just because it's more than likely going to be on both sides of the ball. You can rock with both of those. You also got Eddie George. You've got Frank Wycheck, which wouldn't be a big one just because we've already got all these tight, already got all these tight ends on the team. Um, Kevin Dyson, you've got Jarrell Casey could be one. Who else am I missing? I mean, I think that's almost all of them. I'm sure I'm missing a couple. You know, Samari Roll, he's not going to get one because he was Team Diamond 1. I could see him getting like a UL or something. Uh, so hopefully when he does get that, uh, we'll go ahead and slide him to CV2. But hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later because... Obviously, it's a little bit of a cheat here having Jamel Dean at cornerback two. But we did get Jackrabbit, which was a very, very nice, nice help. Uh, we also got Reggie White. I don't think we had all of these free agent cards um, at the start or at uh, last video. So we'll go ahead and check out those. Uh, I'm trying to think of anybody else that we had. Uh, Terry Kennard, who also came out with uh, Randy Moss. Uh, he, did, he does go ahead and get Titans Kim. 
Uh, really, really underrated card, especially if you get him on your theme team. Um, I'm trying to look at anybody else. Uh, David Long got that new Easter card, or he got a free agency card. Austin Hooper got a free agency card. Um, uh, Kari Blossom game, who did get the, uh, an Easter card. He's a backup fullback. Uh, that's a really, really good budget beast fullback if you need one. Um, Al Woods, Tier Tart, all were here before. Dalvin Tomlinson was not. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and start with Reggie White because this card is a monster. Obviously, he's a gold 99 at left end, but we have him out of position here because edge threat. I run 3 4, so your outside linebackers are going to are gonna use the edge threat um, elite uh, because they are lined up on the edge versus if you run 3 4 and you have a defensive end who has edge threat, it won't light up at all. Um, so that's the case there. He's six foot five, two ninety one. You guys see his physical stats there: ninety eight speed with this drag card. That's crazy. Ninety nine block shed, ninety nine power move, ninety six finesse move. You guys get the gist. This dude's arguably the best pass rusher in the game right now, behind the AKA cards, obviously, because those cards are literally on a tier of their own with the Shaq Leonard and the um, who uh, uh what's his name? Uh, Furious George, George Karloftis from the Chiefs got one. So. If you have him and Shaq Leonard on the same team, which a lot of people do have because Shaq Leonard gets all team games because he was in the Black History Month promo, and then Karloftis gets all the teams that had a out-of-the-country game this past year. So there's a there's like, I don't know, 10 teams that they get both of those guys, so that's kind of crazy. Um, but Reggie White is still Reggie White. He gets the quarterback uh, just as much as they do when they don't have their X-Factor activated. So... With that being said, we'll move on. Dalvin Tomlinson, again, another another little cheat here. We're just holding on to him until we get, you know, a, a Javon Curse, Cameron Wake, um, Kevin Carter. You know, when, once those guys gets upgrade, uh, gets upgrades, we will move these guys out of here and they will come in. But just for now, to be competitive and be able to keep up with the meta and stuff, you got to have these high overall guys. Um, but you guys see Dalvin Tomlinson, 89 speed with the four plus speed on him. 95 excel plus 5 excel i mean these cards are crazy i mean you got cards that came out in november and december that are now relevant now because of this strat item and if you have a theme team like i know the julius peppers and the ted hendrix both those safety cards get 98 speed now with the plus four speed you can use with those guys now like those guys were out of date two months ago because we only have plus two speed and they're like 90 they were 96 speed you know a couple months ago and then we got the plus one speed. Then they came back a little bit. And now we got the plus two speed. Now they're literally top tier cards now, kind of. You know, I mean, six foot nine with 98 speed, that's unheard of. I mean, that's crazy. Especially the card that came out in Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so that is that there. We'll go ahead and check out K. We'll, we'll save KB. Jack Rabbit Jenkins, again, wasn't known for having a great career, great season in Tennessee. But we did have the one seed there. And. You know, he did have a, a an okay year, I guess you could say. A lot of fans weren't the, the biggest fan. He was kind of like the, I guess you could say, like the, uh, the oh gosh, um, Jonathan Joseph the year before where we had the worst third down defense ever. The Jonathan Joseph of that year was like the Jackrabbit of, you know, the 20, what was that, 22 year. Uh, so, and then we didn't really have it, you know. Do we have, you know, even have an older cornerback this year? And then we got, I mean, we knew, I know we picked off guys off the street, but I don't even know if we had like a Jackrabbit or a, you know, um, older cornerback like that this year. I can't even, can't even tell you if I could think of one. I couldn't, I can't remember if we did or not, but I don't think we did. But anyway, nonetheless, here's Jackrabbit Jenkins. Really good card. I mean, this is probably our best card on defense just because of the X factor he gets. Uh, universal coverage. Literally every three plays, it'll be active. And if, you, if, if the ball's thrown his way, it's not getting caught. Because if he literally touches you, you're dropping the ball with this universal coverage uh, activated. So that is that. We also have deep route KO, deep out zone KO, and pick artists on him. Excuse me. So there's Jackrabbit Jenkins. Really, really good card. And then you got the playmaker himself, Kevin Byard. Newly acquired Kevin Byard. We've been saying that for a few years now. But Kevin Byard here, 99 overall, Kevin Byard. You guys saw him in the thumbnail. 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 zone, 96 man. Really, really good across the board. We've got deep route KO on him, an acrobat on him, and pick artist on him. All for 2AP. 
all for two AP. I did not mean to back out. I was trying to go to his abilities there. But the game is so slow. I mean, it's so crazy how how bad the servers are this uh, this time of year. But I understand because of the amount of content they're pushing out. So shout out to EA. A lot of content this year compared to past years. But here's Kevin Byard's ability stack. Acrobat, obviously. You got to get that upgrade token for him. Just play some challenges. You'll get it quite easily. Acrobat for zero. Pick artist for zero. Deep route KO for one. So all three of these for one AP. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. He also gets the uh, strong safety out of position if you want to throw him a strong safety. I think he's a 94. Probably be up for like a 96 or something. Uh, but there he is right there. Kevin Byard. That ability stack for one AP is crazy. And I've kind of gone to more of a hybrid defense. You know, you know, most of this year I've been 80% zone, 20% man. I've kind of gone to maybe about 60, 75% zone, 40% man. So the deep route KO does help me out a little bit. And plus he's normally in the middle of the field for me. And deep route KO, it's very, very hard to activate because it's almost got to be like literally a pass that is in the numbers and far enough like you don't get many of those passes so deep route ko will work for me a lot more than deep end zone ko uh would i think that's it defensively um any backups to go over we got the monty rice not really anything too special not any overall sugar rush card uh big jeff hoping he gets an upgrade that would be nice um but we do have two studs at e-tackle we got john madden out of position here so Really, really stacked with D-Tackle. But if they come up with a big Jeff card that's at left and right in, I guess we'll take it. Um, obviously, like I said, we got Cam, uh, uh, Cameron Wake. Cam Jordan's just here because he gets goal on stuff for zero. Gets Titans Kim, obviously. So Cam Wake and also Javon Curse are two guys we're waiting on to get upgrades. And we can replace this Dalvin Tomlinson. And almost have a full Titans team, team on the defense because we'll just put Arden Key back. In. We can put Arden Key here if we wanted to. Take Dalvin Tomlinson off. But for right now, I like what we're rocking with. I'll, I'll be honest. I like what we're rocking with right now. Um, obviously, this Jamil Dean. I'm not going to show you his stats. I mean, he's okay. But he's just kind of a cheat. I don't want to you know, show him off considering he's, you know, kind of a cheat. But here we go. So, there's everything there. I guess I'll go over the, um, the abilities um, right here. So, we're at 17 minutes. I need to probably speed this thing up a little bit. Uh, try to finish this up around 20 minutes or so. Edge that elite, no outsiders on Reggie White. No outsiders on John Madden. Jack Rabbit Jenkins, deep rock KO, deep out zone KO, pick artist, 2 AP, plus universal coverage for one. So that's 3 AP on him. Dalvin Thompson, no outsiders. Jamil Dean, pick artist, deep out zone KO for 1 AP. Kevin Byard, we just talked about him. He's got shutdown activated. Deep rock KO, pick artist, acrobat, all for 1 AP. Shaq Leonard, unstoppable force. Obviously, we're going to rock with that. X-Factor for 1 AP. Tackle Supreme inside stuff for 1 AP. Zach Cunningham, Lurker, Secure Tackler. Tier Tart inside stuff for free. Javon Kerr, Speedster, doesn't see the field. Terry Kennard, Pick Artist, Acrobat. I need to go back over him. I forgot about him. Al Woods inside stuff. Joey Porter, Nolan Smith, uh, Cam Smith. All these guys get free stuff, so why not just throw them on there? Trenton Simpson, Lurker, Mid Zone KO for him. He had a game last uh, episode, so we'll see if he can do it again. Let me check out uh, Kennard real quick and then get to the specialist because um, we did get Gary Anderson, which is underwhelming upgrade. Well, not really an upgrade, just under, under, underwhelming card to get. Uh, you know, 91 overall kicker is not going to do as much good. But Terry Kennard, 1 AP pick artist, 1 AP acrobat. He is six foot one with 99 speed, 99 XL. Really, really good safety for us. We actually plug him in at strong safety because Imani Hooker only gets 98 speed. Uh, and I think Imani Hooker's like 5'11", 6 foot, so he's an inch taller, a speed faster. Um, so we'll actually sub him in. You'll see a sub him in at the strong safety spot. Special teams. Here we go. Brett Kern, Michael Badgley, they've been here for a little bit. Ryan Stonehouse, deserved a team of the year card, didn't get one. Uh, Devon A. Chain here at the K Returner just because he gets free jukebox and 99 speed. There's our specialist right there. Uh, Kevin Byer, 99 overall sub linebacker right there. Strategy items. You guys probably want to see this. They haven't changed, I don't think, since last video. In the trenches with the shed. Secondary right there. Slot specialist. Zone, man, boost. Uh, and then we get the plus excel. I guess we could change that out because we really don't need any more speed on our wide receivers, tight ends, or quarterbacks. Uh, or I think it might be halfbacks. I don't know. Uh, but then obviously the Titans, Team Affinity, Gold Garden, and obviously the Game Changer, Sugar Rush, Boost All Players, Speed, Excel, 3 to Change Direction, and 5 to Jumping.
pretty crazy stuff right there. I did want to go ahead and touch on these abilities we have on offense because I do need to go ahead and activate a Gronk because I did actually not have that short end activated. He is on the field a little bit because we do like some to go to some two tight end sets. Randy Moss here. I went ahead and put double me on him. Deep out elite. Route tech. Short out elite. One AP on him. John Madden. Secure protector. Zero AP. Steve McNair. Bazooka. Hot Rod Master Fearless, Set Feet League Gunslinger for 3 AP. So it gets the big 4 for 3. That's what you want to see out of your quarterback all day. Secure Protector on NPF. AJ Brown, Deep Out Elite, Short in Elite, 1 AP. Rob Gronkowski, Short in Elite for 0 AP. Deep Out Elite, Route Tech on Julio Jones. Larry Zonka, Honorary Lineman. Chris Johnson, Backfield Master for 0. Tank for 1. Delaney Walker, Short in Elite. Derek Henry, Persistent and Bruiser. And obviously, that X Factor on him. Freight Train for 1 AP. Bruce Matthews, Nasty Streak, and Secure Protector for 1 AP. And that is going to do it. I guess we can go ahead and activate Janu, too. Uh, ben Jones, I guess we could put something on him, but... What will we take off? Maybe Persistent on Derrick Henry? We'll leave it off for now. I think you got Nate Davis, Nasty Streak, Secure Protector... B. John Robinson with goal line back for free. A-Chain with free jukebox. You know, why not put them on there when it's free? And that's going to be it. But I do recommend you guys, if you guys have a binder full of stuff, I recommend holding on to it because of Team Diamonds coming out tomorrow. Um, I don't know if they're going to go over the set. Uh, like I said, I'm recording this on Tuesday. I don't know if they're going to go over the set tomorrow morning um, or not, but you guys should know that already, and you should know what it will take to build a... It should be 98 overall, uh, Team Diamond. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's hop into a game and let's get a dub. All right, guys, hopping into this win. There's our top three. Steve, Air, McNair, A.J. Brown, and I believe that was Randy Moss over there on the right. Looks like we're playing the same, same team. Drew Brees, Demario Davis, and what was that? Tracy Porter over there on the right. Um, let's get a dub. All right, guys, first play of the game. I wasn't able to get into the right play that I wanted. Uh, and we got guys all over the place right here. He's going to go ahead and lob one up here. That's Jamil Dean. Can he knock it out? Okay, overthrown. We'll, we'll take that little bell out play right there for us. All right, guys. So I did see that they are actually uh, just, they did a little teaser. 32.98 overalls tomorrow. Obviously, you guys will, will see um, who they all are, obviously, by now. But for me, currently... They look like current day players. I'll be honest. They look like a like a, a bear, I think. And he looked like a bright orange jersey, which is like a current day jersey that they play with. Is Gronk makes the catch in traffic there. Cunningham's there, but can't force the incompletion. It's first and ten. But like I said, if they're current day players, that's gonna be kind of an L in my opinion. I mean, you know, for me. I want to see new names in the game. You know what I'm saying? You want, you, you know, we have guys, we have Tennessee Titans right now that are not in the game, like an Eddie George, Keith Bullock, Cortland Finnegan, you know, guys like that, Pac-Man Jones, something like that. You know, I, I want something like that and not current day players because that's just good tackle there by Jamil Dean. But that's just such a, you know, punch in the gut if they're all current day players because, I mean, it's not really that fun, you know. You know, seeing a bunch of new old names, you know, past fan favorite guys. That's what you want to see with Team Diamonds. And I really just, I'm holding out hope that they are past players. As Latavius Murray got a break tackle animation there, but he lost seven yards. We'll take it. That was actually, who was that getting in the backfield right there? Was that like Tier Tart or someone? We'll see right here. No, it was Reggie White. Of course it was Reggie He makes every play. He makes every single play. He's going to go for it here. We're going to actually drop back some guys in coverage here. I uh, have John Madden spy. Really, it's Drew Brees. We really don't need a spy here, but we're just going to drop back. He's got a guy over the middle. He's going to throw that ball back across the field, and he's going to have it. He's going to have the first down there to Latavius Murray to the 45-yard line, first and 10 for him. Doing a decent job defensively here. We just kind of, he's just kind of getting bailed out with these, you know, with me dropping out nine people in coverage right there. As that's an inaccurate ball there by Drew Brees. We'll take it. Second and 10. Just under 100 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 
or under 80 seconds. Can't even do math right now. And there's big old Tier Tart. First sack of the game for us. The big one brings up third down and 17. And that's going to be thrown straight to newly acquired Kevin Byard. As he takes it across midfield to the 42-yard line. And there he is making a play once again. All right, going to start out with a little stretch play on the first play on offense. As Derrick Henry's going to get going here, 30. Runs over a man at the 25, getting down to the 22-yard line as King Henry has it going here early. Let's go no huddle. Let's see if we can keep it moving here. I don't know why it took us so long to go no huddle there, but we'll go ahead and we're going to double team whoever that is on the edge. And that's J.J. Watt. We're going to cut it back up inside. Trying to find some room to maneuver. We'll take six. We'll go one more no huddle here. See if we can get another snap off before the uh, first quarter ends. There's barely any clock chews off right there as we go no huddle. We're going to flip the play. Here we go. Running in the left. Zonka with the block. Henry's going to walk in. Touchdown. Titans. That was from what? The 16 yard line. Henry having a good game to start as our opponent's going to pause the game. And he's out of there. Alright, guys, we're hopping into the next one. Patrick Mahomes, Tay Adams, and Marlon Humphrey. Doesn't look like a, 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 a you know a theme team. There's our team. McNair, AJ Brown, and Randy Moss. Let's get another dub today. I'm, I think I'm six and five in champions. Not too great. Um, not great at all, actually. I think I dropped like three games in a row a second ago, or um, I think last night. I, I did go on a 19-game win streak, I think. Uh, that's probably the longest win streak I've had in the past, like three Maddens. Uh, I think it was like half in champions, half in head-to-head. -head. As Zonka, all right, not a bad return there. Broke every tackle. To the 32, we're going to start out with another uh, stretch play. We'll go stretch Lord X Lucky to start this game. Again, I still working on my uh, you know objectives for my mutt champs. Trying to get as much XP as possible. Trying to level up as fast as I can and go ahead and get up to that Calvin Johnson. As Derrick Henry's breaking the tackle, Derrick Henry's trucking over a man. Derrick Henry's falling forward for nine yards. Let's let's go no huddle. Let's use this X factor as much as possible. I don't know if I like this look, but I'm going to run it anyway. Breaking that tackle. Not going to break another. He's going to lose yards, which is going to lose his X-Factor, which is now... Actually, didn't lose his X-Factor, but that's fine because we'll just run. One of my favorite plays in this playbook, Mesh, obviously, this is a Saints playbook, so every single play out of this playbook is almost money. You see every single player in the game almost run this playbook, so... That's probably not it. Yeah, not the greatest pass right there. I mean, probably had guys coming open on those on those slants right there. But I felt a little pressure in my face. I don't even know if I had any pressure. But I just tried to hoist one up there, see if Moss could make a play. Not my greatest read so far. But I'll show you all my adjustments defensively if y'all want to see these. Um, so I always do base on the auto align. And then if it's like off a little bit, I just go... And change it up myself. Oh, now we're in a... Well, I don't want to be in player lock. See, like right there. If it's like that, I'll just go Y. Left stick to the right. This is going to be a little play action here. Jackrabbit. It's going to be cooked a little... I don't know what it is. I mean, Patrick Mahomes missed throw. Drew Brees missed throws last game. Um, but I guess we'll take it. Uh, we're going to sub Imani out real quick while we can. For Canard, then we're gonna go ahead and change this to pinch buck O, and let's go ahead and get into this. So we're in our three four that I like. My favorite formation to come out in, favorite play as well. As he's gonna try to hit Tay Adams deep, KB tries the acrobat animation and get that one. He can't. It is overthrown. We'll take it. Third down and ten here. Uh, we're gonna run the same thing. We're gonna bring a blitz actually. He's got that corner out. Is he there? He is. Canard, no knockouts on him, so that is going to be a completion there. Um, we got there just a touch late. We would have been there. We'd have, we would have had a little throw out of, out of sack animation there. 
Okay, a little on the run throw, inaccurate for Patrick Mahomes. He's one for four for 27 yards. Excuse me. Second and 10 here. Again, going to come out in the same thing. Cover three. Going to be another play action here. Going to be a throw to the flats. Trying to get a rip on that ball. Cannot. Third and two. Probably going to go Mabel coverage here to try and take away flats. If he goes audible here, I'm going to I'm going to go on Shaq and uh, yeah, we're going to blitz Shaq with the uh, with the X factor there. Hopefully he'll get home. Hopefully he doesn't run a corner route right on the right side. That's really the only thing that'll hurt me here. All right, we'll take it. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. We'll take that. The loss of six right there on fourth down or on third down and two. Now it's fourth down and eight. We'll see what he wants to do here. He is going to go for it, so we'll come right back out in the 3-4. Do we want to bring some pressure? I think I'm going to, but I'm still going to have guys drop back in zone as he's still a little network issue there. Hopefully he'll fix that up. He'll throw it straight to me, and my goodness, I just... I was running the corner route. I was thinking, who was that? Andre Reed was running that route. I was on that, and I dropped back down, and I was just literally a second late. Kind of frustrating there, playing really good defensively, holding them to, th to you know, a couple of uh, – hit Derrick Henry right there. Fumble. Here we go. Kevin Byard. Can we make a play again with Kevin Byard? Kevin Byard. This is his video. 40. 45, 50, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10. He's going to do a little skip to my Lou for the touchdown. 6-0. Kevin Byard again making a play. Newly acquired Kevin Byard. Tennessee Titans, don't, don't trade this man. Don't do anything. He's a Tennessee Titan for life. I don't care what you guys say. His whole career has been in Tennessee. He's been a playmaker his whole career. You just got to keep He's one of those guys like Derrick Henry. You got to keep him here as long as you possibly can. Franchise guys, you know, blue collared. I mean, he, that, the, okay, so the one game that really, 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 really put Kevin Byard close to the top of my list on all time Titans players is the game against the Cowboys where everybody sat except for Kevin Byard. And guess what he did? He went out there and made two plays in that game, two picks. And almost carried that team to a win. Obviously, it would have been a full... Football's an 11-man 11 11-man game. But, you know, that would have been a really, really impressive game to win if the Titans were able to pull that off with literally two starters, it felt like, in the whole game. One of them was Kevin Byard. He could have easily sat. He could have easily sat, rested for that next game or that next week against Jacksonville, which we ended up losing. He's going to throw back across his body. He's got Herman Moore close to a first down, is it? It is, and that's going to be the, end of the end of the first quarter. 7-0. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to sit back in this in this, in this this 3-4. We got to get home, man. Oh, that's going to be picked up. Trenton Simpson, here we go again. That guy Simpson, here we go again to the 45. And just like that, we are in full control of this football game. Let's go Hail Mary. Let's try and hit him over the top here. He might bring some pressure here. We're going to throw this thing up to Moss. We shall see if he can make a play here. Ooh, he got a little animation that looked kind of sexy, y'all. He almost brought that thing in. I'm not going to lie. Randy Moss had a nice little animation there. Could have brought that thing in. It was a little overthrown, I guess you could say. But nonetheless, he could have brought that thing in. One of my favorite plays in this playbook as well is this play right here because you'll see Randy Moss on this left side. We're going to throw it up to him. He's going to have a step, and that's going to be a touchdown. Every single play, Randy Moss is a threat. Touchdown, Titans, 13-0 with an extra point on the way. How about that, guys? How about this gameplay so far? I think we've played just a little over a quarter or so, and we've scored three times. Kevin Byard's made two plays. Fantastic gameplay so far, guys. Randy Moss, all the new guys, McNair, Moss, KB, everyone's making plays out here. And he's out of there. I guess we'll hop into a third game. How about it? We'll hop into one more. 
All right, guys, hopping into this one. You guys see, once again, our top three. Steve, Eric McNair, A.J. Brown, Randy Moss. We're going to go against a 49er theme team. Fred Warner, Jason Verrett, and Rob Gronkowski is his top three. Let's get our third dub of the day. All right, guys, again, starting out this game on defense, we're going to have Shaq Leonard trying to rush the passer here as John Madden breaks free. Gets Patrick Willis, the halfback Patrick Willis, down for a loss of two. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, let's see if we can make another good play here. He's got Steve Young. He's going to dump it down. Wow, what a play. I think that... Was that a free-form completion there to... Is that Cal? That is Calvin. Okay, so... I haven't seen many Calvins just because it's, you know, early into this season. You're not going to see many guys. John Madden, oh, we could have got that pick there, but we'll take the pressure. By Maniac. Second and ten. But like I said, haven't seen many Calvins just because it's been, you know, only uh, about a month into this season. Uh, so you wouldn't expect to see many Calvins until people get up to about level 50 or so. And I guess people are starting to get there as he throws it to Gronk. As his X Factor isn't the best, I, I think I've played I, I played with him last uh, theme team episode with his X Factor on. Uh, it's okay. As he hits Delaney Walker, the former 49er, more of a fullback for that team, if you will. Kind of changed him up when you know you know made him kind of more of a tight end. And when he got to Tennessee, and by golly, it worked all right. Patrick Willis, another carry for him. Third and seven here for him as we are looking to get off the field here. Um, past two games, we've made plays on first possessions back-to-back. -back, so I'm actually going hard flats, and he's going to probably look there. He's going to look there, and he's going to have Gronk. And he's going to be short, but not that short. Fourth and one. He broke the tackle, got hit stick back by Reggie White. Gun split flex. We're going to come right back out here. I think we're just going to go. Ah. Oh. Hit Moss on the corner out. I went ballsy right there. Send a little pressure on fourth and one. Try to get there fast. He literally blocked everybody that was in the backfield. I think he blocked seven people right there. And he, had a, he actually did have a play action too. And we still couldn't get there. Uh, but I think this is going to be a run here. It is up the gut, and Trenton Simpson literally fits the gap that Patrick Willis went through, and he just doesn't even touch him. But I finally can see a little bit more of this offense. That's that's really what I wanted to, to showcase, obviously, Steve McNair. So we'll be able to showcase him a little bit this game, it looks like, so far. Nine plays, 75-yard drive, two and about half minutes for him. All right, here we go. Let's go offense. All right, again, we're going to start off. I love starting off the game, obviously running the football, because why wouldn't you with Derrick Henry? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to use that little jurtle action right there to kind of like not have to worry about that first tackle broken to where then I can get to the secondary and just shrug off, shrug off the you know safety or whatnot. But it hadn't been working out that, that nicely for me as Derrick Henry's trying to break a tackle there. Did. He got the first down. We'll take it. <laughs> he did get hit stick by someone, I guess, who had Lumberjack or Enforcer or something. Um, as he breaks that tackle, trying to get a little bit going. About a yard right there. Second and nine will slow things down. We'll go a little mesh here. Again, like I said, one of my favorite plays in this playbook. You guys see, I got a lot of favorited plays. That's how I kind of run my offenses out of my favorites. I don't have a specific, you know, formation I run my stuff out of. We'll throw it off to Delaney Walker right there in the flat. Easy little read right there. Falling forward, trying to fight for every yard he can get, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. All right. We're going to run the ball again with Henry. See if we can get to the outside right here. And he just missed the gap. That's what I'm talking about. Gosh, I'm trying to get just a little shrug animation. I don't want to try and get a stiff arm. That'll slow me down. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to get a truck. That'll slow me down. Just a little shrug off animation is what I'm looking for. Well, that play is going nowhere. But I still, I, I'm, I'm working on my um, my objectives, like I was saying earlier. I'm trying to get to the uh, the 150 uh, yards on the ground to get me six, uh, six whatever it's called, CP. As we're going to get that to Randy Moss. Cooked him down the sideline for, what, 29 yards? 18 
or to the 18 yard line. Oh, <laughs> that little journal, baby. I'm telling you, man, I wish we got a back that got leapfrog because that would be so I would literally you I, I use it all the time already and I fumble almost, you know, 20% of the time when I do it. So again, there's a risk involved when you do that. Um, but man, oh man, when it pays off, it looks like you're the best Madden player in the world. Look at the tie this one up at seven apiece as we just do that with Michael Badgley. Looking like a better game than the past couple ones. So, see if we can get a good one for y'all. Looking to go with a, with a little counter play there. About three yards on the play. Doing a really good job against the run. Patrick Willis literally had that one good run when he scored the touchdown. I think that's pretty much it all game for him. Going to hit Gronk right there. I mean, I, I know he's looking for that seam route, but if I run straight to it, he's going to hit the Delaney Walker route. Let's man up Shaq Leonard right here. He's going to run it with Pat Willis. Patrick Willis looking to try and get some yards. He's a little air truck animation there. A really good, a really good uh, run right there. Probably close to, what, 30 yards, 40 yards right there on the carry with Patrick Willis. We got to get off the field here. We might run it again. If he runs again, I'm screwed. He's not going to. Rolling out, firing, and getting demolished by big Dalvin Tomlinson right there. Second and ten. Might go Mabel again. Uh, we'll, we'll stay regular here. He's just going to keep it hitting that scene. i got to go man. I think I gotta, I've got to tighten it up a little bit here in the red zone. If I'm out here, he might just hand this ball off, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Big time tackle there. I think I have secure tackler on um, Shaq Leonard. So that'll help him out there. Um, nice throw. Nice throw and catch right there. Two Gronk. Again, he's hit me in the seams left and right. He literally knows I'm going to be in cover three the whole game. But that's why I have to mix up. I mean, you, you can literally sit in cover three the whole game if you wanted to. And some guys wouldn't adjust. But this guy obviously... You know, verticals beats cover three. Any, you know, football player knows that. So, why not just go to verticals when your opponent runs cover three every time? Pretty smart to me. All right, guys, this is a big drive. You obviously want a little double dip here. You want to score right before half. You want to get the ball back, ball back at half. So, that's exactly what we're going to try to do here. Here we go, Delaney Walker. Stiff arm, get off of me. And just like that, we just flip the field to the 31. We're going to go no huddle. Moss. Touchdown. Okay, pretty simple game. Pretty simple game. We'll go ahead and knock this extra point on through. Might have, you know, wanted to, <laughs> to use a little bit less or use a little more off the clock there, but... Two plays, what was that, like 20 seconds? <laughs> and we're in. 37 seconds. You know, maybe uh, well, with a minute and eight seconds, if you tell me yet that I'm going to score, I'll take that. No matter if it took me one play or seven plays and the clock runs out, I'll, I'll take that. we got to get a stop now. Oh, Kevin again! Kevin again! How many plays is Kevin Byard going to make? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Kevin Byard has made three massive plays in every three, all three games. How about that? Delaney Walker in the flat. Here we go. Truck over a man. Let's go. Time out. How about that? Are we going to triple dip? Two touchdowns right before half. Get the ball back. That is something else, man. Kevin Byard, man. Was I'm not sure, I'm sure that uh, that was Kevin Byard, right? I think your sub linebacker is in on special teams. I'm almost positive. So let's see if we can try to journal back there. Not going to do much there. Third and five. Okay. Third and five here. Let's go to a um a play that I really like. Um, Y out halfback swing. You want to run this when you get get a little bit more room, but I guess you can run it right here. Just a uh, smart route this corner on AJ Brown. Have it a little bit a short corner. 
smart route the post or you can put them on a slant if you wanted to um can we fit that in there over there Woo! delaney walker to the one okay gotta be careful here you gotta throw the ball you got plenty of time to throw the ball we're gonna go back to our our mm, we'll go back to our mesh play We'll go back to our mesh play again. You got three. You got three downs here. You know you get the ball out quick right here. Three to four seconds. You've got three plays here. Um, I'm gonna actually flip the play here. If he's in man, Delaney's gonna get open because AJ Brown is kind of almost like a little screen play, like that. Boom, Delaney Walker. You saw how AJ Brown kind of. It's almost like a in real life screen play uh, on the goal line and. He's out of there. We'll take it. Three quits today. Three for three. Three wins. Let's get it. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the gameplay. How about it? How about it? Three for three. Three quits. Three wins. It's probably the best, best episode maybe of the year. I'll be honest. I mean, there's not many of them. But this might be the best one of the year. Stay tuned. Um, Going to try and upload it, you know, Hopefully, every week, every two weeks is my goal from here on out for the rest of the year. Uh, so be on the be on the lookout for that. Uh, again, you sh you guys should already have seen these uh, team diamonds. Again, I'm I'm recording this on Tuesday, and I'm gonna uh, schedule it for Wednesday. So you guys should already see those. Those will be coming out tomorrow, as of y'all seeing this video. Um, so hopefully we got a good guy. Hopefully, hopefully we got one of those guys I mentioned earlier, Eddie George. Uh, maybe Javon Curse, but I'd rather have him UL. Like I said, Keith Bullock would be a nice one. Kevin, Kevin Dyson. Again, we got a lot of stacked wide receivers. Um, Derek Mason, again, another guy. Jarrell Casey would be pretty cool to see. Again, he recently retired, but he's been retired for a couple years now, so they definitely could have his rights now. Um, who else? Again, I said Cortland Finnegan. I've already said Cortland Finnegan. Um... I know I'm missing. You know, we got Vanden Bosch a couple years ago. Y'all go back. Y'all can watch my video where I was like, the Titans, I want to see. We could get Warren Moon maybe, but we just got Steve McNair, so that wouldn't do us any good. But y'all go back and watch that video where I was talking about the Titans that I want to see that are kind of like Team Diamond-ish type players. Earl Campbell. Uh, there's a lot of guys in there that have been getting upgrades. You know, Frank Wycheck was another guy in there. Chris Johnson obviously was a guy that ended up getting cards. So maybe they watched that video because Vanden Bosch was like a guy that like I was just throwing him in there because he was just another name to kind of make the video eight minutes long so but but he ended up getting a card I was like there's no way he's gonna get a card I might as well just why not, why not throw him in there but he ended up getting a team diamond two card in Madden 21 so cool to see maybe they do watch my videos that was a while ago too so if you want to go watch that video uh y'all can find it on my channel somewhere uh might link it down below we'll see though but with that being said that is gonna do it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy until next time i'll see y'all